Spiky. Thank you, Tech. <laughs> Did you plug it in? Hooray, Tech. <laughs> All right, well, no, let's get into, Brian. yes. All right, here we go. Cyrodiil Please changes. Good. Do you want to start with Cyrodiil or Battlegrounds? Let's start with Battlegrounds. There's stuff there that we uh, Come on, ranking system. haven't touched on yet in a while. You know, you've been, you've been doing work. Pretty, <laughs> pretty big change with Battlegrounds. In case you guys missed it, they are moving to the base game mm -hmm. in Update 18. Mm -hmm. So that means everybody is going to be able to play in Battlegrounds, yep. which is yeah. really exciting. <laughs> Yay! Um, with that, else? I know that yes. there are some... Uh, questions and concerns that have come up over the course of Battlegrounds being out regarding uh, the matchmaking system. Mm -hmm. Come so on, baby. Some adjustments to it for this next update, where it's going to take into consideration a lot more whether you're grouped or not. So yes. that we know that there's concerns yes. out there about fighting pre-maids, pre-maids yeah. versus pickup yeah. groups. So there are some fixes for that yes. coming in to put a lot more emphasis on whether you're grouped or not. Uh, we did have some matchmaking back in the day of it's going to try looking just for groups to find other groups. But over the course of the release of Battlegrounds over the time, we've sort of relaxed that rule to try and make the matches work better. But we've gone in and added some more stricter rules to that. So higher prioritization to one I another. wouldn't say it's prioritization yes, in terms baby. of getting through the queue fastest, but prioritization of getting you matched against we other pre-made yes. groups. Yes. Okay. And, that, and that type of prioritization. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Obviously, besides the fact that it's base game uh, and that change with the queuing, we're allowing you to pick the the game leaderboard type, not the specific game mode. That's all right. But you'll be able to pick no whether you want to play a then. land grab game, a deathmatch game, oh, cool. or a flag okay. game. So if you just really like one type versus right. another. Right. Yeah. If you're really I worry about push for getting on the deathmatch death leaderboard though. this week, you can do that, as opposed to the random grab bag that right. we have right now. But that being said, solo we queue deathmatch, baby. Um, like the dungeon finder mm -hmm. sort of thing, but we did that for Battlegrounds where there'll be a big oh, full cool. screen thing and you can there'll be a daily reward for it and you click it to get put into the queue for grab bag as it exists now, but with a reward on top of it. Uh, you have to place first or second to get that reward, though. On the leaderboard? Um, to be fair, I can still see game, myself doing grab bag. In the specific okay. match that you queued for. So it's not like you can just AFK for it. Right. So you, yeah. you do need to try to actually do the fight to, to get it. Or it's not like dungeons where all you have to do is complete it. Yeah, well, technically things. we consider... Or carried yeah. by Rich and Finnegan. That's just, <laughs> they can carry pretty... They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Because <laughs> we haven't done that. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's also some more rewards that we're putting into the bags that will be exclusive to Battlegrounds as well. I'm not going to get too much into that, but there'll be patch notes about it. All right, we'll get those know, as soon as they're out for sure. Tease, sorry. Hey, okay. gotta leave but something for that. Gotta leave something for the itemization gang. I'm not gonna steal their thunder, yeah. but it's cool stuff. Beyond that, we're battlegrounds. We're always looking at the population, always monitoring how healthy it's doing, and we plan that when it goes base game, it's probably gonna increase that population a lot. Hopefully, the queues will fire just as fast as they are right now, and. Hopefully, more and more people. I really hope the queues yeah, don't bug. If they don't and bug, they that sounds great. Adjustments. Yes. If we need to. Yeah. No That's more pre-made pug is we've good. Done. <laughs> we kind of added some more dials for uh -huh. tuning in. Whether the the matchmaking is gonna go, it takes a long time to find the, like the perfect match, mm -hmm. or like after a certain amount of time, it just goes okay. We've looked long enough. Time to put people in there. So you're not gonna be queued for hours right. to get in there, unless it's like literally nobody in the queue at mm -hmm. like God knows what hour in the night. But ah, we're, we're, that's, we're a that game. rarely actually happens. There's always people on. Yeah. yeah that <laughs> rarely actually does happen. Great. That's so really good all change those changes so far. will be on PTS on Monday, right? right? Yes. Keep it going. Oh, yep. Good to see it all next. And the, uh, the reward structure should be interesting seeing people go for that first and second place now. Yeah. Get a little bit more competition mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely yeah, be, be trying good. some of this stuff yep. on the PTS if anyone's interested. More competitive matches. Awesome. Yeah. It'll be fun. Cyrodo? We didn't do anything for Cyrodo. No, yeah, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Throw a there, was there, a lot. There, there was a running joke that I was just going to appear for five minutes and then bounce. Just yeah, talk about battlegrounds and be like, bye, bye, so, bye. bye. Have a nice um, day. So for Cyrodiil, I guess we'll talk about the first big thing, which is the performance. Um, Come on, baby. We have been working on that over the course of the past couple years. A lot of stuff we've done have been server optimizations, things kind of under the hood, that don't really get, don't really translate well to explanation. But some changes we're doing this time are things that people will directly see. First off, for the client, uh, that means the thing that you actually use, your, either your computer or your console. Mm -hmm. We've upped the number of cores that can be used. This is purely for PC uh, mm -hmm. users, where the more cores you have, the smoother your client performance will be. You basically will have fire, higher frame rate. 
okay. in that regard. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing we've done for That's all good. of them, for all platforms, is changing how players are uh, what we call at list or sort of composited in the game. So in scenarios like um, Alessia, where people are always just hammering the bridge or hammering mm -hmm. the keep itself, and there's Big a lot of people, of people yeah. uh, the way that they load in will be less all at once, so to speak. Uh, you'll still see them, but it's not like your sir. That's not like I your clients being hammered with tons of data all at once. They're going to be composited a little bit better and smoother. So it spreads the the load out of how hard your processor is working. I just worry so that that's going to be smoother. invisible people. It makes things a little bit nicer. So that's sort of for consoles as well as uh, PC slash Mac. Okay. So but performance improvements across the board for PC and console. For PC and console for the PC. client, yeah. And for the server, this is again kind of going to be across the board. Um, the best way to word this is kind of having a little story. Our, uh, our story, story time. time. <laughs> our our I mean, ability it should be to good for lag, but make worry about invisible people. Uh, is very flexible. We can do a lot of really cool stuff with this system that we have, and in doing so, sometimes abilities get made that get ran too many times, so to speak. If it's checking all the time whether you're doing something, like passives can do that all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So we found a couple passives that were taking off of how they're structured right now and putting them on the server as a hard check that always happens on the server, not on the level of actually activating an ability per ability basis. Mm -hmm. So that takes some stress off of the server that we think is going to help out with I performance. I think that would actually be pretty we'll be watching big. watching after 18 comes out and seeing how the graphs have affected from that. And there are obviously other things we can do in that route, but this is sort of the first stab where we saw some passives that were just firing all the damn time. We we're like, we okay, those need to not do that. I mean, that's so we a kind huge of amount of calculations on, less for anyone who doesn't um, understand. That's sort of like the biggest server change. Uh, there's other stuff we have planned for this, but we wanted to see how these go first. But that we think it's going to be a decent stab at it, mm -hmm. and it's something that we can actually talk about as opposed to going, yes, we did stuff under the hood that right. is crazy server architecture stuff that everybody will go, huh? Yeah. So what's, what's that mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's kind of like a good way of describing one of the first good passes at server performance we've done in 2018. There's Great. more we're going to be doing. Oh, awesome. gosh. OK. But I know the notes are going crazy. Well, no, I keep getting these pings from Robel about patch notes <laughs> stuff, and it's blocking my screen. It's like, <laughs> patch notes, everybody's got to get their patch notes. I mean, so far, that sounds good. But everybody needs their the patch notes. The passives are actually <laughs> really big. Some of those um, are very demanding. There's several other things. Yes, there were four pages of patch notes, by the way. That was a, that was for PvP. that was real. Just that was for all. PvP. That was all my stuff. Yeah. And awesome. usually you'll send like, oh, here's a little handful of PvP patch notes, and this time it was like, here, I brought you your patch notes. <laughs> there was a lot. That was the, we've been PvP. working on stuff. Yay! Been working on stuff. Everyone's very excited yeah. for it. Um, I guess the other big one to talk about is uh, uh the keep credit system. Mm -hmm. How that's kind of different now. Uh, before to get. A, uh, an offensive tick or a defensive tick, which is basically the alliance points you get when you capture a keep yep. or when you have defended a keep, uh, you'll get a chunk of alliance points. There's a base amount that you get for every time you capture one, unless it's on cooldown, which we had to add last year because of nickel RP. <laughs> so in case you don't, nickel <laughs> RP is a form thing, guys. <laughs> I'll explain gals. that afterwards, um, that guys. Got fixed. But there's still some complaints about how people can just sort of show up and do uh, a defensive tick leech or an offensive tick leech, mm -hmm. which is basically you just showed up and you got part of the pool and you did zero effort to right. it. Right. You just uh, ran there. Yeah, no exactly. So we're trying to get rid of some of that behavior by adding a credit list to the keeps and the resources and the outposts and even the districts and outposts. So the way it's going to work is you basically do the actions you already do, mm -hmm. but now it's going to be tracked a little bit more uh, granul granularly. Okay. Granularly, yes. Uh, instead of just being in the area of the keep to get credit. So you have to uh, damage players or help damage another player that results in alliance points of being earned or would have resulted in alliance points being earned if you mm -hmm. were worth mm -hmm. zero because you died. Um, healing or damaging a keep piece or a wall uh, resurrecting other players and uh, effectively healing. You can't just trade jumping off the wall and heal each other and expect to get on the credit list. Right. So you have to effectively heal somebody. It's difficult if that's split evenly, though. Fight. 
to get on the credit that's list. Killing I mean, guards. That's, that's how it should be. Killing right? guards does not, no. Okay. But that being said, if you just run up and uh, take one of the resources and all you did was kill guards, mm -hmm. you'll get the basic amount of alliance points for taking it. For taking it. Got it. But yeah. if there was any killing that occurred of other players which generated alliance points, mm -hmm. That bonus is granted to people who actually participated in killing that other player as that sort of sense. how I detailed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Krotha was just asking, what about wall repairs? Oh, that's uh, a good question. Mm -hmm. Wall repair is considered a heal. So yes, it's a it's a repair. Okay, yeah. there you go. A heal. Um, we know that this is real uh, generous in terms of the credit list right now. But it is at least attracting from the whole. I, hey, I just. It'd be nice up the if they split that fifteen hundred yeah. AP for, based yeah. on yeah. how like you much can still they do that did. on the captures. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to remove the the gameplay now. People running around and grabbing stuff, but if there was an actual fight there, we wanted to give you credit for actually being in that fight, so you would feel like you actually have done something, have earned it, as opposed mm -hmm. to just... As, as I mean, the stream said, makes a opinion. good point. Yeah. I think and everyone's going to try hard one of guy for the tick. Some of the in and in fighting of... God help me. The, hey, don't show up and leech. Yeah. Um, it also allows you, though, to move around more. Because mm -hmm. right now, when you're waiting for a defensive tick to happen, you just kind of, you know, you flip, you flip the keep, you go repair the walls, and then if another fight happens, as that's happening, you need to... Push them off. It's going to change them, the meta for M farming. Or wait at their resource. Um, now we let you kind of move around away from it because the keep is storing that credit list. On. As soon as you've got that credit, but you can just leave can't that go place, from, like, move to the keep, next. Because oh, okay. we don't want you just chaining so all that, all that credit around me. to get a huge, massive alliance point oh, yeah. tick. Mm -hmm. So, a good example for this is if you're at uh, uh, Alessia, which everybody always is. <laughs> <laughs> and you are on the credit list for defending Alessia and you push Reds off and you push them back across all the way up to Sejanus and fight over there, you're not going to lose credit for what you did at Alessia. So those two don't overwrite each See, other. See, I think that's good because it promotes people to actually push outpost. back rather than Got just it. farm okay. in right. rage. So in that regard, you're kind of on two credit lists. Mm -hmm. Objectively, it makes a big change. where you're pushing people around all the resources, um, you're still on the credit list for Alessia as well as each of those individual resources. Okay. But if you left that keep and go push on another one, Different your one. credit gets wiped from Alessia. Oh, Jeez. so you can only be on credit list for one keep. For one archetype, so to speak, mm. except for the resources. You can Got be it. on the okay. the um, the list of resources and the keep that they're associated with. That's mm -hmm. still crazy, though, because so like, you can juggle we went all of that. Loose with a lot of the stuff, but we would still want you to feel like you're fighting and doing actions that you kind of already do when you're assaulting a keep. Yeah, yeah. Um, if that it works, it's going to be crazy like, let's AP say you're rates. on one keep, it keeps list. Mm -hmm. Do you get taken off that one as soon as you get on another one? Is it kind of an instant Yeah, it's gone. Flip? Yep. Okay. Yep. Good but job. it doesn't wipe the type. So let's say you were at Alessia and you went for some crazy reason, you went all the way to Chalman mm -hmm. and you hit Chalman directly. But you didn't hit any of the resources at Chowman, you still are on the credit list for any resources you may have helped defend at Alessia. That's right. really confusing. Because okay. that's a different key. I think the patch yep. notes will so clarify that So somebody in chat was just saying they're a little concerned this means that players won't go and help at other places because they don't want to be removed from the credit, from list. The credit uh, list. So the, the, the tick happens really quickly. Mm -hmm. It's really like 60 seconds after a death happens that the tick happens. I'm not sure you realize the how much 60 seconds is there. people are waiting around like, where is it? And if we see that the behavior isn't being reinforced enough to move, we may shorten that that duration. Yeah, okay. I think they have to do let that. You, you know, not but if they do, it's going to make it harder to ever get an attack tick. <laughs> so, uh, terrible phrase, I know, but that's what people call it. They call it they call it squatting on the yeah, flag and waiting. Yeah. Right. So, um, there, that's that's there's another dial that we can turn if we think that people aren't moving around because the system's goal is to give people freedom to move around a bit after they've taken the keep yeah. and not feel like they are chained to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can still sit there and wait, knock yourself out, but we'd like you to move around and yes. do stuff. So, um, what's some other craziness happened with that? Oh, and some of the edge cases that we came up with this, by the way, were insane and we ran into one. A good example of this is Chowman Mine and Chowman Keep because those two are pretty much butted up right against each other and I fight over those all the time because yes, I play red right now. Um, Bill, boo. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Um, I'm not commenting. If, if I feel like mommy and daddy are fighting right boo. now. <laughs> so if Jess, if Jess is at the mine and she's blue and I'm still at the keep trying to, you know, fight up into the mine, if she kills me, then 
the system looks at both. Oh. The, well, I'm a healer mainly, so it might. Um, the 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 credit for that kill will get split. The AP from that will get split to where you to the mine and to the keep okay. because it can't. The system That's can't disseminate good. purely, which is the most fair. Where I, was yeah. I on the attack or was I on the defense? So in that scenario, it's gonna they already talked about some survey improvement stuff. Okay. So That's quite big stuff actually. The result of that is gonna be more AP as a whole out there for people than good. they're used to getting. Yeah. And the, the last thing we did, which is based on feedback about making defense um, kind of reward more, if if you're at a keep that uh, is reinforced with at least a level one resource or higher, mm -hmm. then the defense value gets multiplied on the tick. Mm. So I'm not going to disclose what the percentage is. That's pretty is, good. That's going to force people to play the resources for a as well. It's going to encourage is higher out. level is worth more for defense. Okay. So that gives a bit more uh, incentive to defend. But you could just take the resources nice. whilst waiting for the tick, to be you fair. You know, somebody was asking, are there any new rewards? And it's funny you ask there because are. we do have. Mm -hmm. Is the picture? Do we things? have the picture? We have a picture of something that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some new quests that we're offering. They are called Conquest Quests. I know Conquest Quest. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. They are, they're sort of meant to reinforce actions you already do, but we didn't want it to be take this specific thing that we already, we already have a lot of those. Mm -hmm. So we made up some new quest conditions, which are capture any, but they're any unique. So you capture quest any three keeps or capture mm -hmm. any nine resources. We do have two backup ones on that, which are kill 40 players and capture the towns. Yep. But the capture any, you can't just go to uh, Ash and flip Ash three times to get it. You have to take Ash and then take a different It's basically like longer, harder quests. Right. And the same thing with the resources. You have to take different resources, and it has to be any three or any nine. Those are two separate keeps. And if the picture is on the screen there right is, now, yeah, there. there it is. That yeah, the town quests are really good. Is part of a outfit that you will earn throughout the rest of uh pretty cool stuff the updates the, we do for serial as we go the yeah that helmet <laughs> the the bottom portion of that is not the rest of the costume but that helmet is and it's called a, a gladiator helmet you'll earn um pieces of this helmet from doing the quests and then you put those pieces together into a rune box which you can either use for yourself mm -hmm. or put the rune box on to guild traders and then sell that room box. That's off. pretty good. So this is a, a PvP like specific and only source thing for Cyrodiil. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So awesome. little known fact, Wayne was the reference for this guy's arm. Yeah. It's pretty uh, serious. No, 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 I just think the quest is challenging <laughs> enough. <laughs> Ooh, so that'll be that'll be a that part like of a costume. Four of my wear. my arms. <laughs> that's serious. So I saw a few people asking um, mm -hmm. regarding the credit lists. What happens if you get disconnected? You're wiped, sadly. It is wiped. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. The, ha hanging on to that record too long, get turns it uh, turns the server into too much of a maintenance hog of trying to remember all that Got stuff. Got it. Okay. So, Alrighty. death death wipes it going into a delve wipes it going into Wait, Imperial death City wipes, wipes it, it, but Imperial City has districts. Oh my. So uh, yeah. that's gonna be crazy, crazy if too. death swipe it. Um, that was the. I'm the sure he just said quests. that. And there, there's there for each. It's a new quest board. So you can take those quests along with the other quests that you get, the other dailies from there. Honestly, we've got to do a That's detailed review on this when it actually comes we're, we're live. We're looking at uh, possibly adding more. We may add more quests. There's some in the back pocket that we can add if we want to. But that new quest condition is pretty cool. The fact that you have to take any unique, specific yeah. one. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, defensive take. I have my... My sheet of new motifs. Somebody was asking. There are no motifs, but I can't remember if any were AP specific. Um, Do you remember? No, there's no new motifs. Um, for AP. No. He for said AP, delve. Oh, are. thank God for that. There, are, there is, okay, there is that delve. costume that's being. That's going to say if you die at least that should mm -hmm. be crazy. And then there's some other stuff again in the battleground. Uh, reward <laughs> bags that I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> I don't want. I want. I want the item patch note yeah. for that one. Yeah. I don't want to take away that team's thunder. It's okay. good stuff. Uh, Velocer, after I see your question, this is going to be on our public test server starting next week and mm -hmm. it'll launch with update 18. Mm -hmm. So I'll be doing PC, the battlegrounds probably first thing. I'm May really interested about those queues. For console, it's June 5th. 5th. Mm -hmm. Oh, sushi. 5th. We keep 5th. wanting to say 6th because that's <laughs> what it was last year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's where I'm getting hung up. Six six, but no, six five. You said delves and death, uh, so death might refresh it. That's just kind of a little bit more enticing to be defended, and in, in just the, not just to keep itself, but the whole structure to have a keep upgraded, is there will be more defensive slots allowed on a keep if you have it upgraded fully. Oh, cool. So right now you can only deploy twenty weapons yeah. per alliance. The defenders of it will be able to deploy up to thirty, and we may tune that number higher, mm -hmm. but thirty is kind of a good start. Because then you can have that that many more oils on and the interior. That's pretty good. Like generally defending a keep can be a so lot harder that. because oh, it's so rare that the works. defenders There's bother. There's no new siege weaponry, but we did make some adjustments to siege weaponry we already have. Mm -hmm. Please buff oils. Uh, catapults have always been meant to sort of like suppress an area, but it didn't really do it that well because it would just explode and then that was it. It would if you were there when you got hit. You got the effects on you, like the meat bag. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing with it now is that the catapults will hit an area and that gunk will stay in the area. So if you walk into an area where the meat bag hit, you're going to get the healing debuff and you're going to get a dot. When you leave it, you, it's off of you. But what's great about that is it lays down suppression fire, so to speak, at a location. So if you see a wall of trebs, start hammering that area with the meat bag or you know, with the caltrops. Not, well, not the player caltrops, but you can do that too. And that sort of keeps people from maybe using those weaponry because mm. it's that got really worries me. Of on the ground. Pain, for lack yeah. of a better way X3 to word it. X3-1 squads are going to whip out a meat bag um, when you're going to keep The other thing we did with the seed weaponry is the ballistas. People were using them more for anti-personnel, and that's, that wasn't their intended design. The intended design of a ballista was uh, anti-siege. It was meant to blow up other siege weapons. That's even worse. So news. we did reduce the... Um, the damage oh, that it does versus actually, players by about 10%, and right, we up the bad. damage it does versus Siege by about 16, 17%. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there are some concerns that. on the forums when this got posted about, oh my god, Ballista damage is already pretty low, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. It's because we want to pull it back to the intention that they initially were. That being said, Coal Fire Ballista still hit like a truck. So <laughs> they they can still be used to be. I'll really explain it all afterwards, Custard. We we really wanted to make the ballistas be, you know, anti siege, siege. and catapults to get reinforced. Of no, you can't walk into this area right now. Mm -hmm. And trebs to sort of be like you know, text. The Thank you very much, dude. See you pain above. from above when a boulder hits you or a wall. They're more meant to be anti keep or um, keep crackers. For lack of a better way to word it. Hit the door with them. Yeah. Yeah, you can I hit the hope door they buff back. oils. At the so moment, oils don't get enough. A lot, a lot of enough. changes out there that'll be tested like crazy. Especially with how much health people have. The, um, the conquest quest that you were talking about earlier yeah. is that daily? So They're dailies. But it, they're, they so function like. Well, they function like the other AVA quest boards mm -hmm. where you can go get the capture any three keeps, finish it. Go get the capture any nine, finish it. Go get the kill 40 players, finish that, and go back. But they all share the same board, so you can only do them one at a time. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot. I know it's a lot. A lot of good stuff coming. It's yeah, stuff. There's, there's more, if I can talk about it. Keep um, going, please. The monsters. I will let you talk about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Really? <laughs> no. Uh, so um, there's a big difference between going from non-CP to CP in Cyrodiil. Mm -hmm. uh, the guards True, well. and Siege in uh, non-CP hits really, really hard. But in, in uh, CP enabled, it, the, the guards don't hit as hard. You can kind of rip through them really fast. So we have different modifiers now for the monsters. We haven't done it yet for Siege. I'll try it either. But for the monsters, we've tuned up how, how uh, tough they are. And that's either done with armor or health points. Uh, and how hard they hit. So it's not going to be... Uh, quite as easy as it is right now, or just roll up to a resource and and just yeah, wipe it in the CP. Yeah, it's fine. We'll but be fine. It'll, it'll be a little bit tougher, but it's not going to be quite as tough. More the gates, boys. <laughs> it'll be close, but there's going to be people out there that have builds that are just god builds. More anyway, the gates, more eclipses. Deal with it. Mm. But for the reason we're doing this is sort of get a somewhat even playing field between the two campaigns, but also to get sort of uh, the the towers and the resources back to their initial intent. People of think that's bad. That's almost good. That take this thing. As a Not skilled player, you're going to be able to get it easy, and the shit players um, are going to melt the NPCs solo. that you own. Your, you need to take your time. So you pull the I think NPCs, it's still fine. Line of sight them. Pick I think them it's almost a good one. thing. Mm -hmm. The guard the guards around the flag may be a bit of a 
hustle and fight, but <laughs> if you can get it rid of everything else so you're not being slammed by everybody else, then handling those four isn't too hard. But it's definitely going to be a little bit different now. You've got to remember that Especially once you've on got that resource, they're going to help five. you. Mm. So I think God it's better guard, for the more skilled players than the weak now. players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rich, I think Rich said he went and tried it. We are all looking up right now because power just clicked. What just happened? <laughs> Flickered. That was... That was I think it's the oh. back. It's the hamster's okay. down. No, you're right. was, we oh. turned the vacuum on, guys. It's Holy. okay. Holy. This is fine. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, regarding the monster stuff, it's not an Imperial City. Oh, okay. That's still, okay. that's still, oh, I did see somebody ask that. Yeah, yeah the, the guard, the NPCs, monsters, everything in Imperial City are still the so same. So this is just Cyril. Just Cyril. Make Cyril. Cyril. Break City, for the Cyril and the Delves. But not Imperial City. We had two separate modifiers that we could have done for Imperial City and, and anyway. Cyrodiil. I just did Cyrodiil. Because okay. I, I like the concept of having Imperial City be Farmville and you go find, find people and hunt mm -hmm. them. Especially with Mid-Year Mayhem and the Imperial City event. It's a madhouse mm -hmm. in there. It's great. Um, regarding guards too, this will make everybody that knows what I'm saying rejoice. Eclipse now has its proper CC immunity from the yes, guards. Yes, finally! <laughs> so they'll be... You can't get, oh, you can't get finally, destroyed by yes. those guys. Um, no, I guess eight. lastly, yeah, lastly, um, oh, well, I don't need my lastly, we're not going to talk about that. I don't need my issue anymore. Um, the, uh, Real the method and the rate in which <laughs> underpopulation and underdog scoring happens mm -hmm. is being sped up tremendously. Oh. Um, it used to take the population and scoring samples over the course of something like three days to actually trigger whether you're underpopulated or underscored. I wish they just changed the way populations Now worked. it's going to take something along the vicinity of three to four hours wow. for that okay. to trigger. That's a big difference. So it's going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be taking population samples a lot faster, which means it, you're going to be able to see those population and underdog scoring changes happen a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. These lights mm -hmm. are freaking me out. The heat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, the underdog so stuff is good for making a big campaigns change. And with that, we put more emphasis, emphasis. It's so Some lights are discouraging. <laughs> uh, we put more emphasis on your home campaigns. Uh, sorry, your home keeps within a campaign. So if you have an underdog or an underscore bonus, it you will get the best campaign score benefit from that by taking and I'm holding taking your, your home six. Okay. Yep. That's that's sort of a better method of like that's saying good like, in terms if you of have making bonus, take and hold your home six, then go after the other yeah. guys. Big boss yeah. is shaking but those home his boots right now. Will give you more score to the campaign. Cool. So it's, it's that's a lot great. of a lot of changes, a lot of other stuff. I I know that people have been asking for uh, more content, like more things to do in Cyrodiil. Mm -hmm. We we really want to take this this stab at the performance with yes. the client. I think uh, they appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prioritize that. Yeah. And then before adding yeah. new things in there. Yeah. But it's good to know that they have intentions to add new things. That's in that one location. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that the stuff we have that focuses is a lot of people is performing better and before I, we add I'll more stuff. I'll go over things they said in a second about yeah. server. Yep. yep. There's more stuff we're working on for the rest of the year, but we'll talk about that when Later that comes. This year. Yep. Have you Gotta have you on again. Yeah, right. Not just more than a once a year. More than once a year? Yeah. <laughs> have you talked at all about um, making changes to the rewards of the worthy? We have talked we have talked about it. Um, I don't really care about those. It's never gonna be anything. Not in this update. Update. Yeah, it's it's right. more in looking at it and trying to figure out what we can add to it or new gear to swap in. Um, but also with those daily quests, we know that the um, the the herb satchels that you can get in Imperial City mm -hmm. were really popular, so we added something like that to the daily quests, where you can get, okay, that's um, pretty good. Like blacksmith satchel Crafting or or yeah, or clothing stuff. satchel. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be something like that to go along with the dailies as well, because we know that um, getting gold as a PvP player is really tricky. That's partly why also the gladiator thing can be turned into a room box and sold. That's, that's good why change. in the daily quests there's going to be like crafting satchels that you get as well. So we know that those are things that are pain points for PvP people, and we're trying to alleviate some of those pain points. I'll go on to it about cool. performance in a sec, guys. All They've right. already improved performance. What are you looking at over here? That is the whole <laughs> summer set that's always ever, not just PvP. Nothing's happening. No, nothing's happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Brian, this was really good. So yeah. you've, you've been working on a lot of stuff. Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. People thought I was dead. I'm not dead. I'm not, dead. <laughs> not dead, still working on not stuff. Not dead, still hey, working. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not there you yet. are. <laughs> yeah, like, and sometimes people say, well, how come you're not posting on the forum just like well when there's nothing that I can comment on I'm not going to 
comment on it yet directly. And then we have you on the show. And then I come on the show. And then right. you talk for you half posted hour. a. It's good. A long update mm -hmm. on the forums, kind of mm -hmm. giving people a sneak peek. There's there are a couple other things in the patch notes too, but there's stuff like rearranging how some of the upgrades are listed, like a ton of the upgrades for a keep. Are it's a lot of quality of life stuff. Those don't actually up. We kind of spread those out. But that's nothing little too. Stuff, yeah. yeah, that's like little things to talk about. Um, keep scoring is going to get adjusted too. Actually, that's that's a good point. The um, right now all the the objectives are all worth one point in a campaign. Keeps are now going to be worth ten points, and everything oh, wow. else is going to be uh, one. No, not keeps. Elder Scrolls are going to be worth 10 points. Okay, that's yeah. really good. Um, it was a joke. So how the bad scrolls, scrolls will be were. worth 10. Everything else will be worth one. It's and then we'll look at maybe adjusting further after that. We may make keeps be worth more because we had that scoring. Honestly, I can see myself playing objective now. Yeah, it was like it was like 1.2.5.10. Point, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, so we may readjust that and add to the keeps and the outposts, make them be worth more points. But the um, the Elder Scrolls will be worth 10 points, which is good. Especially when you have the underpopulation bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. I see you. This, this chat just going crazy. It's going a little crazy. You know what? I feel bad. I think so far, it looks really good. Away, but you want to do another thing, one? Well, the thing there says giveaway. Like, it's coming up next. So we should <gasps> probably do another let's one. Let's do another one. Just so yeah. we're yeah. not trolling everybody. Yep, yep, yep. Now let's do another one. Well. So far, it's looking the really same good. Thing? How about PvP? All right, oh, yeah. keywords PVP. We'll do oh, one yeah. more like great one? dark stack. So for those who are interested, there, a lot, a lot of people were complaining about like Frida's server performance Friday things. <laughs> there is. Starting with pants. Nope, I, I will go PVP. over it in a sec. But they did actually mention some changes PVP coming changes. for that. What's funny? Yesterday, a bunch of us were standing around the one of the undaunted enclaves, and quite a lot of stuff actually. You know, spamming mounts, and. <laughs> And Kate saw I had the dark stack. She went, where did you get that? <laughs> oh. well, guess what? I was like, well, I didn't know it was coming today. And oh, I was like, funny. I was like, sorry, you do, out, but and so. And it's still available. You know, it's still available. You're getting when you get home. Uh, yeah, I'll scrolls will actually be worth like, having now. The stag. She freaked out. She was like, it's antlers. I'm like crazy. And it's got the red eyes. I want that. Yeah, it is cool. It's really cool. Like, and the pony. Pony. I don't know. It's I don't cute. think it's scary. It's kind of cute. It is really cute. It's only scary when you're not looking at it. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't you just look hear. at the pony. Yeah. It's right, right, glowy. When you're not looking at it. Yes. <laughs> That's spooky. Are there any crazy questions yes. that you can even possibly... Will you yeah. recap it all? Yeah. Yes. Kinda Once they finish the stream, yeah. I will recap everything okay. for well, anyone who didn't catch like up. PvP, then, I'll cover as much as I can. All the time. <laughs> the pony. I want the pony. Because there was quite a lot of good stuff there, actually. It sounds pretty hopeful, I have to say. When I have stuff I can talk about, it's fun to come on. Indeed. Um... Just a reminder, um, PTS, the public test server, is being updated on Monday. Mm -hmm. We will be sending out a wave of invites kind of throughout the day for new testers. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. if you were automatically in, sorry, if you were already in the Morrowind beta when that was on PTS, mm -hmm. you can just get right in. And, and that is summer sun. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that is for PC and Mac players, our public test server. Also, in case you missed the news, we did extend. Oh, no. We did extend the four-year anniversary event for one week. Um, so it's ending on Monday, April Scrolls 23rd. Scrolls belong in the lava. So get out there and I remember get one time I actually fell in there, actually. And double get XP cake. and get that cake. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne just wants the cake, that's it. Will you cover the updates? Yeah, I, I keep I saying that. I'll go over everything in a second, sort of like explain as much as I can. We've talked about I don't think they'll host me. They should host me. But I don't think they will. If they do, I'll show how make PvP. They'll show how it's done. Just make the You get rid of the pedestal and you just make it smaller. Make it smaller. I yeah, mean, the, not... the base, the pedestal smaller, and just make the cake wider. <laughs> you add no. more bottom layers. So it'll just no. be one of those. You add more bottom layers too. Like oh my god! With all the crazy stuff. No. On it's just gonna get in the way everywhere. I don't yeah. know about anyone else, but I just eat the cake. Block doors and shit. Slam dunk it. Ooh, <laughs> Gina's been dealing with exploits. Like Gina, oh, Gina got blocked by a cake. No. Yeah, yeah. Go in there, guys. Just type <laughs> once each host blobs afterwards. Okay, go in there, winner. chat, and say it. It's worth a try. Hopefully this is easier to say. It's gonna be ooh. I am River Song 91. 91. Yay. Congratulations! I've only seen one of my you stream wins so far. Great Dark Stag or Dire Pony of your choice. I can't message anybody. <laughs> what the hell? They crashed. Come again. on. Well, I am River Song 91. If you can try and shoot me a message. See if that works, maybe. <laughs> Everyone's spamming host blobs. I see you boys. Go strong. It's not rigged. 
Come on. It, no, it's going to be win. rigged no matter what. Just you Could you imagine? Win. I break my record right, of well, viewers by like three. We should wrap up. Yep. A lot that we went through today. Yeah. These will be posted in the PTS forums on Monday with all mm -hmm. the other changes that we made, all the adjustments. I don't know the if they will, fixes, guys, but I appreciate features, the effort. The whole shebang. Mm -hmm. It's happening Monday. <laughs> there goes I'm River Song. I won, I won. Oh, Host Big yeah. Boss. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> And you'll get to try out all these changes and check out the new houses mm -hmm. starting on Monday on the PTS. Those now, patch notes are crazy. Really long. It's like almost 50 pages, mm -hmm. you guys. Put the pressure um, on. They might bite. Sorry, my husband keeps calling, and it's like, you know what I'm doing. So now <laughs> I feel like it's an emergency or something. Should I answer on the show? No. That would no. be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, so I guess that's it. Just a reminder, if you want to try the Cyrodiil changes or the Battleground changes. I don't changes, think they're going to do it, guys. You don't no. need an invite for that. You can just mm -hmm. go right go. in mm -hmm. and give it a try. But this is just for PC and Mac players. Yep. yep. All right. Well, so, thank you, Brian. Sure. Thank you all for having me. Thanks for having me. Yay. For being on the show. It's been a long time. We won't go a year next time. No. We'll have you on sooner. Oh, my okay, God. The spam right, in the chat. Thank you for joining us. And have a this great weekend. This is not apple juice, I swear. And it's water. <laughs> it's water. It's real or water. Will... It's not vodka. Oh, my God. Just spam, water. guys. Beast in it. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in game. Bye. Bye. It was worth a try. Okay. So, for those who didn't catch everything that was on there, I'm going to go over all of the different updates that they mentioned. Because there was quite a bit there. Um... So a lot of you guys probably didn't get to catch all of that. Let me change my audio settings and all of that real fast. Get things right because it's super loud right now. So stuff that you might not have seen. Firstly, there are a lot. Of, I saw a lot of guys sort of saying about performance. Um, they are actually making some change there, and it sounded like quite a lot. The first thing that they've done is they sort of got these multi cores. Now that actually does more than I thought it was originally going to do. It looks quite good, and essentially it's going to be there to try and take the edge off your PC side of things, which is good naturally. It's really nice. It's not great, but it's nice. Um, but the biggest one that they said was sort of rendering of your passives. So when you're in a fight, people don't quite realize how much of a problem some of the passives are calculation wise. I'm going to quickly do my loading by the way, so you won't see me in a sec. Passive wise, a lot of the passives are the true reason for lag because I, I, I can't even go through the whole list of it. There are so many passives that are huge calculations, especially like Nightblade ones. So, so, so many passives there that are super demanding on the game. And those make an enormous difference to your lag and all. Because if you've got those ticking through, that's a calculation for every single person in that zerg for each of those. I think the way that they'll change those should hopefully be pretty good. Um, so there definitely were some performance changes that for the first time ever, I would say actually sound pretty hopeful. So fingers crossed on the performance front. In terms of ticks, for those who didn't catch how that's working, so basically the ticks are going to be changed. Now, it was a little difficult to understand, but basically the biggest thing is, at the moment, if you're defending a keep, let's say you're at Ellswell, this is the biggest example. I'll show you as soon as I'm in the map. You've got the keep and a lot of people siege from the farm because it's a really strong point when the Zergs are busy. And it's impossible to really get them because you have to sit in range of your keep to get the defense AP. But if you push up and you wipe them, that's great. You're going to take the farm, but you're not going to get the tick because by the time you've wiped them and got back, the tick is gone. So you're not actually going to get the aggression there. Um, they're changing that so it stores as long as you're in the same keep and the same resources, which is still pretty reasonable. Holy shit, there's a guy here and I'm loading in. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Oh, God. I hope he's watching the stream as well. I could die here while I'm loading in. Um, okay, we're good. He's friendly. Thank God for that. Um, so, that is so loud on my screen. Gemini, beautiful commitment. Three months of subbage. Welcome back, my man. Thank you so much. Big play, a sub coming in there. Um, okay, so what else was there that I was going over? Um, they changed the way that Siege works. So that sounds pathetic. Most people think, oh, I don't really care about that. Actually, it's a really good change. What they've changed with the way that Siege is going to work is they've changed it. I'm probably riding the wrong way, but here, but whatever. They've changed it so that your Siege is based... The amount of Siege you can use to attack and defend is based on the resources. Now, 
tactically, you have to realize that that is going to make more people interested in capping resources. That's good for the solo player because as a solo player, a great place to get small scale PvP is bam, take the resource. And if we've got that resource, a lot of people don't care. Now they have to bother with it, basically. Um, yeah, I will watch that as I go, Shay. So if we move on to what else have we got? Uh, I'm sort of going for realistic because Shay wrote them down as we went. So essentially you'll get, as far as I can tell, a bigger tick based on how many credits you do. Now, they didn't really explain much detail, but I think what that means is if you particularly are super skilled and doing a lot of work for the keep, and that was healing, resing, and killing. Um, note that repairs counted as healing. It didn't matter if you were killing guards. But if you do more of that stuff, you're going to get a better tick. But everybody will still get the base tick. So as long as you're there, you'll get the base tick. You just won't get the bonus, essentially. Um, I mean, it's still good, right? Keep going through here. So the levels of the keep will add extra AP. What the level of the keep is determined by is how long the keep's been that color and how many resources. The resource turn the speed of the leveling up for those who don't know. So again, that's going to promote people going for those resources, which is good because it makes that objective more useful. Um, a lot of these chains actually honestly make me, even as a person who's happy just solo PvPing and trying to get fights, be more interested in going for the resource. If I'm more interested, I guarantee the large majority of people are genuinely interested because I normally would not care because I've played it for so long, but it's good. Uh, what else was there? So the damage of fire blisters is nerfed. This one's not necessarily so good for small scalers on players, but is buffed on the front of the sieges that it hits so it's going to make sieging more dynamic which is still pretty good um i don't know i'm not too fussed about the damage and the damage on the walls is heavily increased so this one's pretty big npcs on resources and the keeps are getting a huge buff so essentially they're going to be a lot more difficult to deal with but keep in mind that that goes in two ways so just because it's harder for me to get that resource in the first place doesn't mean that that's bad news because if i'm a skilled player and can get that resource then the pugs are going to get slaughtered by those npcs and it's going to make solo defenses a little more easier or small scale defenses a little more easier because they're pretty strong in terms of the scoring this is something that really interests me because at the moment the scoring system is terrible because there's just no point in bothering whoever nightcaps wins they're making the low pop bonus happen every four hours some people here won't know what a low pop bonus is basically if we go on a campaign sure's probably actually a good example right now oh no it's not uh, maybe so for so. Alright, so it's not bad. So you can see the 80s pop locked, EP's pop locked, and DC's two bar. And it'll probably be one bar in a sec. And the reason for that is they're probably sat in their gate, unable to do anything. They'll now be given a low pop bonus after just a few hours, which basically means their score gets amplified. And the reason that's important is it means that if the map gets nightcapped by one alliance, there's obviously not that many people on. So the amount of AP they're going to get proportionally is going to be a lot lower and it's going to make the campaign more competitive from a scoring perspective. More importantly, the scroll is actually worth bothering with now because before the scroll didn't make a difference. It was a waste of time to take in terms of score because it was the same as a keep. Who cares? Now, I did give you a bit of a stat buff, but that's not really life-changing. It's more the score that matters. The big stuff... My favourite of everything there was Battlegrounds related, is that they are making it so that if you queue as a group, you will get queued against groups more than likely, rather than getting the current pre-made and groups. And obviously Battlegrounds next patch is for everybody, not just for Morrowind owners, which is clearly a fantastic change, because that means it's going to be more people, hence that stuff. And they also did say that they were going to be more interested in... I'm sorry, but this, it's just stupid. Don't unban him, he didn't do anything wrong. Come on, think more. Um, they're going to be basically making it so there's going to be more players there. And they said they'd be interested in making a lot of more changes to Cyrodiil and PvP based on how those changes perform, which is really, really good stuff. The other really nice thing in terms of backgrounds, apart from pre-mates now being against pre-mates rather than pugs, is that they will no longer have these stupid fights where you are going to go in and... Uh, you know, you get like domination 10 times in a row. You can now choose the game mode, but there's also an option to still choose grab bag for like a normal vet daily. So for those of you who don't know, if I wanted to go, I could go in group, I could go on dungeon fighter, and I could go in random normal or random dungeon. There's going to be like the same for PvP stuff, essentially.
Honestly, I, I can be pretty negative about this stuff, but I would say almost all of that looks really good. Um, the thing that interests me most is that he did say that the PvP related stuff is not done. So what he meant by that, well, he said it in a bit more detail than I just said. Essentially, they're going to be looking after they fix server issues for making more stuff interesting in PvP. So for those who haven't done so yet, jump in my Discord and get involved in sort of bringing suggestions to the table because I do really send a lot of that stuff to Zos and hopefully it can get improved and implemented. So yeah, if anyone else has any questions, you can ask it. But I think that covers everything. It looked really damn good. I think the updates are looking hot, to be honest. I think it was really, really hopeful. Anyway, all of those subs and cheers. Congrats those on the 500 subs. Um, thank you, man. It's been crazy. But yeah, it's like, it's looking really good from a PvP perspective. I hope that the server issue happens really well. And yeah, for the most part, it's looking hopeful. Shay, thanks for noting all that stuff down, by the way. So yeah, I'll probably do like a lot. When the PTS hits, I'll do a lot of Battlegrounds off the bat and go over that content. And yeah, um, when the patch hits live, I'll see how the objective stuff goes. But how can you? So I think I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, I like it so far. I'm going to see how it actually acts on the live. Anyway, we have a stream.